we've all been inundated with um, a lot of talk about Woody Allen and in particular the allegations by his adoptive, adoptive daughter, daughter Dylan Farrow mm -hmm. uh, that he sexually abused her and and there are certainly many stories uh, and I think it's fair to say probably none of us will actually know what happened um, but it does raise a lot of issues for us as just as, as people, as consumers of film, as Jewish women, does this change the way you look at him? I still feel, and I almost like lost a friend on Facebook over this issue, so it's, it's been serious. like a very hot topic and going around. And I also felt as though, and people will probably argue with me about it, but I felt that there was some gender line in some of the okay. arguing with it. I mean, I have was to say. Was the friend that you almost lost on Facebook a man? Yes. Okay. And so I felt as so It was unbelievable, It was, it was really unbelievable how many, I felt men were so angry and like really just wanted to defend him and how it really upset them. I also think it became a little bit of like a Jewish thing too. And I felt especially like Jewish males were really wanting to defend him. And I found it really interesting. I happen to really love Woody Allen's, you know, work, especially his early work. And I think I'll still always look at Woody, um, at Annie Hall as an amazing movie that is an artist too, that I look at for so many things. Um, but I tend to feel like where there's, you know, smoke, there's fire. And I think that, you know, I personally believe that he's had m many inappropriate situations. And so I don't think it's such a far-fetched, you know, idea that he would have done this. So I feel as though I would still watch Annie Hall and appreciate it, but I would not go to a uh, tribute of his. I'm not sure that I can take a position on whether he did or didn't. I know I stopped going to see his films after he went off with the daughter. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember her name. I, I stopped for a few years and then I returned because he's such a fine filmmaker. He makes a film one every year. As a filmmaker I envy him very, very much. He's a great talent, and uh, I certainly would not, at this point, uh, stop seeing his films because of that. And, and then I started having this horrible feeling, uh, maybe it was a planted kind of uh, accusation. Maybe, you know, when, some, when a child is very vulnerable and you suggest something, maybe that happened because Mia was angry. She was very angry. There were a lot of good distillations that were like, here are the facts we know. Here are the facts that we don't know. Mm -hmm. And I think that the facts we don't know are, are enough that nobody could say whether or not he did or did not do anything. Uh, what I think is significant is the fact that it always comes down to, do you believe a woman when she says this happens. There's a reason that, that people are scared to speak up is because they tend not to be believed. And then on the other side, you have all these people suddenly saying, what about false memory syndrome? As though false memory syndrome happens all the time. So I think that unless you're a psychiatrist and you di get diagnosed it and you have some degree of expertise on either side, then all you can do is say, I would tend to believe a person who made this kind of accusation knowing how much you have to go through in order to actually get to that point, or I would tend not to believe that person. And that's what I think has been so striking that's split along gender lines, yeah. is because women are very used to not being believed.